Okay, Scouts, it's time to hunt for bugs, track down the Mothman, and get that entomologist badge. Obtaining this badge is pretty tricky. You need to actually find a lootable Mothman for a torn wing. And we need a camera to take shots of all these bugs, which can't happen until you find one of the ProSnap Deluxe cameras off of a tourist body. I've linked a helpful video for you and a map of spots that can be found in the description. This is what you're looking for. There's a whole side quest involved that you can do, but just fixing up the camera should be fine for our scout tasks. Also, you're going to want to make your way to a scout camp, like here at Camp Adams, and take the knowledge exam. Answers are in the description, and I've put the cheat sheet on the screen here too. At Landview Lighthouse in the evening time, the event The Path to Enlightenment will pop up. Gather now, faithful followers of the most wise and beneficent Mothman. Finishing this event is a badge requirement, and it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta collect bioluminescent fluid from rad toads and fireflies, and make your way up to the top of the lighthouse and deposit it. A wise mothman will then appear, and once you commune with him, he will grace you with all of his enlightenment, which is an XP bonus for the next hour. Can't get a torn wing from this one, though. Now that we've done that, and we have our camera, we need to track down and hunt the bugs necessary for the badge. All but a couple can be found in one area, and that's here at Camp Adams while doing the Campfire Tales event. During the part of the event where you are finding kindling for the fire, if you grab the wet sticks, a bunch of small bugs will show up. I like to lead the bugs towards the campfire and try and get as many bugs in one photo as possible. Campfire Tales ends one of two ways, and if we have the version where the scout is singing about hunting bugs, that means that we'll be dealing with waves of bugs and a legendary rad scorpion for the boss. These bugs don't need to be alive in order to take a photo of them, you just need to make sure you see the names of the ones you need overlaid in the screen while you're handling the camera. I did have a couple issues where a shot didn't fully register, but I did the event like three more times and took photos of the dead bugs and it counted eventually. The missing bugs are fireflies, which can be found at the lighthouse during the event that we just did, and a honey beast. I got a shot of the one hanging out at Middle Mountain Cabins, which is where you can find them frequently. Okay, Torn Mothman Wing Time. This guy is a tricky one to track down. He is a rare random encounter which sometimes doesn't even drop the wing, or he'll fly away before you can even defeat him. I was super lucky and ran into him the first time I did the Operation Tidy Quest at Kitty Corner Cabins without even realizing it was a badge requirement. There is a daily event in the mire called Queen of the Hunt that has a 1 in 5 chance of him being the cryptid that shows up in the event, which is not bad odds, but I did this event about 25 times and he showed up only twice. There have been reports of this event not being able to start for some, but I've personally never had an issue just by going to the terminal and starting it. The quest will ask you to track down a cryptid at three different locations that usually changes each time, with the cryptid being at one of the three spots. You'll either find a Wendigo, a Snallygaster, the Flatwoods Monster, the Grafton Monster, or the Mothman. If the cryptid that shows up for you isn't the Mothman, you can't just leave without killing it or just don't extract the sample and then hop servers and try again back at the shack. When you finally do get the Mothman to show up, it'll usually be vengeful and can be a tough battle. I was unfortunate this turn around. He didn't have a torn wing on him. Well, poo. So there is a random encounter location near Abby's bunker where he showed up for me while I was doing this quest, so I'd say it's worth checking out. Give me the good stuff, come on, I just need your wing.
But yet again, I come out empty-handed. Okay, so now we have to resort to forcing a random encounter. Over on Reddit and an offshoot of Mapalacha Project, there is a map that shows types of random encounters that I've linked below, and our Mothman that we can fight and loot shows up at the scene, travel, and assault type spots. You know, this map really isn't that far off from the version that I manually made from wandering the map. Minor pat on the back to me. This data mine map is much better with over 250 locations. With it, I made a few random encounter runs that really helped me out, but it can be exhausting. You can just pick one of these locations and server hop until he shows up, or do these runs to minimize loading screens. Let's begin with the White Springs Assault Run. This is the path we're going to take. There is a chance for him to appear at these spots where you find a bunch of robots guarding the perimeter. It's scattered all around the pathway. Looks like we got death claws at this one. Not a mock man. During one of my runs, I actually ran into the Flatwoods monster right here. What do we have here? Ghouls? And it's looking like there's nothing over here this time. At this side entrance. Ghouls again. And at the front main entrance. Looks like we have nothing going on this time, but this is usually a hot spot for action. Continuing along to the entrance outside the service entrance, you can usually tell if there's going to be assault coming from the hills. And there's a random spot over in this clearing this way. Ah, oh, looks like mannequins today. Okay, back towards the gate. This is where I ran into my first Mothman in this area. I also accidentally uh, hit an Assaultron, and so both she and the Mothman took me down pretty quick. But we finally got a torn Mothman wing. Two of them, actually. Let me still show you the rest of the path. From where that assault was, you want to just continue along, keeping the gates to the left. What do we have here? Uh, it looks like mole miners. All right, we're done inside of the White Springs area. We're going to head towards the road where there's another trigger for a random encounter here. It looks like we have roaming super mutants this time. And then up the hill is another spot to check out. There's one more spot up this winding road, which gives us a total of 14 potential Mothman trigger points. Looks like we have um, Mega Sloth and Wolves this go around. A much quicker run in the mire starts from Berkeley Spring Station with five potential spots and an object spawn point. I use this run anytime I'm at the Purveyor's Place trading script for legendaries. Looks like we had two spawns at the same time in this spot. Moving on across the way, this is an object spawn point. I don't know if a Mothman can show up here, but it's still worth checking out to see what you get. Down the railway and underneath the bridge, you'll trigger your next one. This is often a versus spot where there'll be two groups coming at it from each side, but 
I got a White Springs iBot. Back up on the bridge. There's a glowing hermit crab. This is not a random encounter. It's always going to be here. Or should always be here. You can go either on top or under the bridge. I just go underneath. And you can see what we have is in the distance, the free state gutsy. He takes forever to get over here, so I'm just going to move on. Next location also happens to be a really great spot if you're looking for a tameable um, creature. It's right over here. I run past the cliffs a little bit and turn around to see what we have. Usually it shows up right there, but we have mega sloths in the trees this time. The next one we have is past where the free on the range event is. Now this is where I have encountered the Mothman before. It's always been off camera because I'm usually just exploring, but he likes to show up in that area right over here. But today it looks like we have anglers versus Mirelurks. Now the Cranberry Bog Run is a long one with 26 spawn points that could potentially trigger the Mothman, but I definitely have the most luck here. If I'm not speeding it up, this run usually takes about 20 minutes. I like to start from the K-Max Transmissions Tower, as there are a few in the woods right around it. Up the road. And then you just continue on west. You'll see there's actually an object spawn here. Keep going along the path and to the right. I got a Grafton monster one of my go around, so that could be a spot to keep an eye out for. And there's always something spawning in this area. I usually find a Mr. Messenger, but Hello? definitely worth checking out. Alright, let's move forward back towards the road, towards the General Steakhouse. Oh, there's a mega sloth in the trees here. I didn't get anything to trigger here this time. And there should be a trigger point in this trailer area, but not here. Going towards the railway. Past Robco. And there was nothing this go around, but the last time I was here, I got a whole bunch of ghouls attacking Scorched. All right, let's go back towards the road. There is an object spawn on the way here, but those usually don't really give you Mothmen. Back on the road, we have a versus, rabid mongrels versus, what is it? Glowing hounds. All right, following along the path, there are a few little fissure points here. Looks like we have a bunch of robots. And there's going to be a couple spawn points fairly close to each other. I find Sheep Squatch here a lot. Today it looks like we have a wandering Yaogwai. I try and be as careful as I can around the fissure sites because I don't like triggering a whole bunch of Scorch Beasts. Looks like we have the Insult Bot. Target acquired. I heard you here in a bald, frothy world rumbled around you. I'd call you a coward, but who knows what kind of mess we'd be in today had you stayed outside. Insult package delivered. 
Wow, I'm gonna go curl up in a ball and cry now. Ooh, towards this glade here. This is a great sheep squatch spot. And you can also potentially see the Mothman here. Looks like we have Blowing Mire Lurk Kings versus Super Mutants. There are quite a few spots around the ranger's office that I tend to have the most luck with. This trigger point is underneath here where I found a Mothman last time. The glowing Mothman is definitely my favorite. Oh, and he decided to share his wing with us. Next spot. And it looks like I'm not triggering anything this go around. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for something to show up. And a little bit further up, I find Mr. Messenger here fairly often. Okay, this is another potential trigger point. I usually find verses here. And at this one, it looks like we have the dog walker, Mr. Handy. Up this way, we have a Mr. Handy that needs our help. Just be careful, sometimes a Mr. Handy calling for help is actually a bandit. Going towards our next point looks like Liberators versus Super Mutants. Now usually there is around a 70% chance of being able to trigger a scene, assault, or a travel type random encounter. It looks like I didn't trigger it this time. You can usually find it up on this plateau or in the water down there. And these mole rats are not a random encounter. They're just annoying. This next spot up here is a great point to server hop. I found some really good stuff like this Mr. Handler with his Brahmin. It's a fun one if you ever run across it. All right, we're going to head back up towards the ranger's office. Now this location is a hotbed for Mothman activity. I've actually run into him three times here. Now, unfortunately, during this encounter, I had a server crash, <laughs> but not until after I got a quick pick, though. There's a lot of action going on over at this spot over here. Uh, there's like four Scorch Bees flying around. And it is near a fissure site. Or an unmarked fissure site, so you gotta be careful around here. And it took a little bit for this one to show up, but it is a cargo bot drop. We're gonna head back towards the road. There's a lot of different ones that can show up here. It's hard to tell from here, but in the distance, a whole bunch of mole rats showed up. And then a little bit further this way, 
Well, we have two that showed up at the same time. Petrified corpses and also mannequins. And then the last spot is up this trail here and to the left. Today we have the General Steakhouse Protectron. So you won't get the Mothman every single time, obviously, but every single one of the spots I showed you has a potential to spawn him in. So how you want to use this knowledge is up to you. If you want to server hop a few times at one of these spots or a couple of the spots, or if you want to do the runs like I did, hopefully this helped. With the hard part over, I finally got my badge taking the shot of a honey beast. Hopefully getting this badge isn't too overwhelming and grindy for you. I wish you good luck. Hey, did you know that every time you subscribe and click the bell to notify, a Mothman drops his wing? No, but really, if you liked the video or I helped at all, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell for more Fallout 76 guides and content. I'll also have a Discord linked below you can join if you want to hang out. I'm Wickedy, and until next time, bye!